Hello Scorpios, how y'all doing? Welcome back to our Enigma Scorpio channel. This is Enigma. I'm gonna be doing your upcoming few days what is going to happen reading. This is a general message take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. Also it covers overall messages what's going to happen beyond April. For personal readings, white spells are premium charged crystals which are high vibration and intention charged. Reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram, or email. Follow me on iEnigma.in at Instagram for um, monthly horoscopes for free, as well as crystal reels. Okay, let's see. You can find all the details in the description box for more. All right, let's see. Okay, first of all, someone that you know is coming with a gift is coming with a gift let's focus on this first or they could belong to the same community background religion okay life purpose this is someone that understands you and your background your family okay this is someone from your own religion or this is someone in your age group there's someone that is coming with a gift or universe is sending this person to you as a gift this could be someone that is extremely disciplined with their work. Whatever their work is, it doesn't matter X, Y, Z. But this person is highly disciplined and has some sort of impact or influence on the people around because they like to help people. Okay? That person is coming towards you. Could be a cancer. Okay? See more to this. Two of Wands. Oh my gosh, the cancer card was that. The chariot card is very similar to that. Uh, not the chariot one. The um, Oh, I forgot. Okay, so two of wands. There is someone that is watching you and is wanting to make a move towards you. Okay. Or there's someone that is looking for a mate. Perfect mate. And they're going to find you and come towards you because you're hidden. This lizard is you that is hidden. Okay, and this person is, is carrying this intuition of a cat that they know that who is my person and where you are hidden they, they're gonna find you okay so what I'm seeing is this is someone that is extremely goal oriented focused towards their ambitions and is really not uh, a romantic person it's not this person is not that romantic my dog is staring me as if I'm you know I'm gone mad hello I'm going to show him to you one day. Okay, so uh, this could be a Libra Gemini Aquarius, especially Aquarius. There's someone that will find you, I feel, while, while looking for a match. This person is also someone that likes to act cold. They might not have a cold heart, but they act like they're minding it business and they mean business. They're not very romantic. That's how you will feel when you meet them. And somehow they will bump on you they will find you and they will see you as oh this scorpio oh they're one of a kind they're very different like you will make this person want to have you get to know you and reach out to you and they'll find you on social media for some of you this is how they find you or through a circle of friends or the community that you guys are living in through someone in the community then you have the star oh sorry then you have the ten of swords you have the king of wands the page of wands okay when this person comes and find you okay make sure that you're not having any kind of casual relationship with anyone because this person is particular about are you into casual relationships or serious relationships this person is not at all going to entertain if they figure out that you're dealing with someone from the past that you haven't cut cords with okay so Scorpio, I feel recently you have uh, dealt with a failed relationship with someone that you're still trying to get back with and fix things. For some of you, they are trying to get back with you to fix things for a short period. But it's time that you put a full stop on this person because this, the one that is coming towards you is going to get all the information about you, that what is going on in your life, what's happening. Um, 
you know who is the scorpio dating or who they have dated or they kind of had casual relationships with whatever it is this is someone that does not want to be fooled so they'll make sure that they have all the information they will be that curious about you okay they're highly intelligent i feel once they give you their heart which i feel they will be in uh, the first glance that when they see you there will be something that will, you know, ignite inside of them, which will make them feel like, no, this is the Scorpio that I was looking for. This is a person for me. They will become your backbone. They will become your support system. They'll start following you everywhere to help you, not out of skepticism, but to help you, to support you. This person wants to be your guard, okay? your guardian angel or your support system you know your everything your protection your you know they just want to own you they're like a warrior the person that you're attracting this person could be into field of academics round and round there is a need for you to stop going back and forth with people and things because you do have this tendency scorpio where you put yourself in this victim state of mind Oh, why did this happen to me? Why did, did they uh, go through their karma for doing this to me? Uh, you start, you know, going back and forth. Sometimes, sometimes, Scorpio, you expect some sort of reconciliation. I think there is a need for you to stop bringing the old back again and again by becoming a new person each and every minute, each and every day. You need to renew yourself. Right now in the comment section, I'm renewing myself every minute, every second. Okay. The faster you work on this, the easier it is for you to let go. There is a need for you to take a step up because some of you are so weak or weakened emotionally that you do not want to take any bold step to make a little change in your life at least, to even initiate that change. So it is you who has to initiate that move, initiate that change in order to bring in new love in your life, in order to bring in happiness, big changes, and a lot of other things, okay? So I'm seeing you will be taking a bold step towards a new beginning. See, if you don't take a bold step, this becomes a reverse situation, round and round situation old stale situation keep kept keeps repeating but if you take a leg up if you make a bold step for yourself you make little changes that you think you need in order to bring the newness the freshness in your life which is inside of you know deep inside your intuition is going to guide you this is what you're supposed to do at this point of time for your energetic shift you have to listen to your intuition every point of time wear an amethyst to help you connect with your inner voice you will bring new vitality in you, the freshness in you, the spice in, in your life will come back and you will become more appealing, okay? You will become more exciting to people approaching you as well, okay? So this is what I'm seeing. So you could be in 25, 34, 39, 43, 52. These are the ages. 39 is also what I'm seeing strongly. But I'm definitely seeing that there is a need for you to make that first change to bring what you're looking for, okay, in your life. So another thing that I'm getting is you're going to get up and stand up for yourself. Something, someone in the recent past had pulled you down, made you feel a little weaker, maybe not for all, but someone did feel low self-esteem because they kind of try to judge you, you can see this okay same place the clock here the clock here this is this this place is a confidence this place is for confidence so somewhere you have felt neglected and that has affected your self-esteem i feel if you just give yourself some time to recover to heal you will find yourself confident you will find your confidence going to another level booming oozing you know a lot of yellow which means you need more of sunlight you need more of waking up early you need more of yellow to wear yellow to eat so use more yellow right now because what i'm seeing is there has been a little bit of dullness for some reason in the recent past because there has been certain conditions around you that you didn't feel favorable and that has affected you somewhere i think you're going to get back into your game you're going to stand up on your feet you're going to feel more confident than ever before it's like a boost hitting you 
So I'm definitely seeing this change happening there. Like right now in the comment section, I'm feeling super confident today in it now. Okay, there is a need for you to be patient for everything that you want, okay? Be calm. Slowly, you're becoming more and more energetic. You're becoming more and more confident. You're becoming more and more in love with yourself. Your needs will be met. If you don't rush into things, one by one, all your needs will be met. Just believe in yourself. Have some uh, faith. And I'm seeing there is a need for you to be a lot calmer and patient, okay? So... I'm seeing right now you'll be working on your confidence game. Yes, you're becoming more and more energetic with time, strong, influential, powerful, successful. This is what you're working on. This is a time for you to stop thinking about all the negative experiences in your life and just become more playful, laugh it out loud, have some fun. Because when you spread love and when you surround yourself with people that talk about love, make you feel loved, you will become healed and you'll start to heal others. So what you give comes back. So there is a need for you to be more playful. Do those little changes yourself first. You need to take that, you know, that uh, initiative first in order to change your life, okay? Because laugh it out loud. Whenever there is a um, stressful vibration around you, just laugh it out loud. Think about a joke. Think about something in the past that made you happy. And, uh, you know just laugh it out and be around those people that can make you feel happy at the same time wait so your time is taking slow your time is slow i feel there is a need for you to be patient because it is going to take its own course whatever you need will take time okay in this time you have to be patient you have to make little changes on your health your activities your schedule the way you carry yourself all those little things and to be finding you know excitement little things i feel that is what you need to focus on so right now i feel there is a need for you to focus on how do i be excited with little things okay do anything that makes you excited for even a short period because that will help you stay in the current mo moment present moment and don't rush everything is happening to you but it is taking time so let universe take its time to bring you what you want you basically are not having any kind of serious problem it is you your mind creating it for yourself you feel like oh i'm going through this i'm going through that okay it is a self-created illusion that you need to stop obsessing over once you realize that you're free to do anything that you want and there's nobody that can stop you and you don't care about it, you will feel a sudden boost of confidence and the energy that you felt was going somewhere else, okay? So you're free. Do whatever you want to do. This is what I'm seeing here right now. Write down the comment section. I live free. I'm happy. I'm abundant. I'm a freelancer. <laughs> Strengthening bonds. I'm seeing you are going to have new relationships with new people coming into your life. Your family, friends, your bonds with whoever you have a bond with, a good bond with. It's just getting deeper and deeper. I'm seeing you are building new bonds, especially with the person that is coming towards you. Let's see more to this. So there is a new beginning in a relationship happening in your life for sure. Right now, write down the comment section. I'm ready for a new beginning okay the magician again the number one and then there is a devil okay please clarify on the devil card okay the chariot and what is the confusion here the ace of wands the king of wands and the someone is definitely coming towards you but the obsession that you have towards your work and towards your goals is coming between you and your love life and the obsession that you have towards your love life is coming between you and your goals so either ways i feel like you're so disbalanced when you're focused on your work you're not able to focus on your love life when you focus on your love life you're not able to focus on work there is a need for you to not compromise on your relationships for the sake of money and there is a need for you to not go out of balance with the work. Okay, that means you need to put equal efforts towards your work, towards your love life. 
because I'm seeing both the new beginnings are happening in your life, which may put you in a confusion. Oh, should I focus on my love life? Should I focus on my work? But let me tell you this one thing, loud and clear, that your life is going to change with a magician. You have love coming in, you have work coming in, you have money coming in, you have love coming in. And there will be a point where you will be like so messed up and you want to give up on one thing. Okay? So make sure that you're going right from the beginning balanced work life balance work life balance this is what you have to keep in mind write down the comment section i'm balanced between my life and my career okay i'm not obsessed with anything write that down so i feel like the money will start coming to you with such a flow that you might lose focus on your love life okay that is something that I'm strongly sensing because whoever is coming towards you needs a lot of your attention. Like they will be so passionate. They're going to call you every minute, every second. You'll be like, wait, I'm working. I want to focus on my work. I, I cannot give you much time. And that can affect things. And you may get conscious. Like what if I hurt this person and then they leave me. I won't be able to focus on my work. This might get too messed up. How do you deal with this? Let me see. So have two major new beginnings in your life, which is career, which is love. Balance is the key. Two of cups. Try to go out on dates as much as you can when you get free from work with a person that is interested in you because your person is super obsessed and into you and will be not liking that. You're giving your work as a major priority over this person. So there will be intense passion between the two of you, but you're also obsessed with your goals because you're a magician right now. You can change things just the way you want. You can gain whatever money you want. You can gain whatever you want in your life. Write down the comment section of making million dollars every day. Write down again, I have the love of my life. I'm enjoying with my soulmate. I'm highly passionate. We are in the most passionate romantic relationship ever. All of this is happening so much that you might get, you know, stuck between two things. This way or that way. What should I choose first? Abundance. Money is definitely coming in, guys. Get more information. If you really want to be rich and successful, there is a need for you to keep an eye over the knowledge that you have behind the money you're making from because if you're randomly making money it might not stay for a long period of time but if you're making money you have to be sure that you know how to make how to maintain and how it is going and how to manage things so have more knowledge before you you know get into something like this so one of the things i'm seeing but i'm definitely seeing you need more opportunities for you okay to open up in order to make money or you will keep on learning keep on growing keep on studying keep on improving in your field to bring more abundance and more money in your life right now in the comment section i'm super rich and successful and i'm highly knowledgeable and learned i'm the best in my field but there's one thing that you have to be sure of that you love that you do what you love if you are doing that you love doing if you're doing what you love doing there is no one that can stop you from achieving big it's as simple as that let me see the sign coming towards you in love we have the gemini virgo completely new person okay aries most probable sun moon rising or Venus. Okay, let me have a channeled message for you. This is my favorite part. Yes. So certain things in your life didn't work out in love. It's because the timing wasn't right. So wait for the time. Don't rush into things. Okay, it will come to you. This person will come to you in such a magical way that you've never had experience. At that point of time, you are growing. You're making your money. Yes. I feel like you will start getting signs when this person starts coming closer and they'll also keep dropping signs to you when you are trying to figure out who is my soulmate. You'll get very clear signs from this person. One advice. 
life is a mystery okay universe universe doesn't want you to know each and everything that's going to happen let's keep it a mystery because when there is mystery there is excitement and universe wants to see that excitement on your face so it doesn't want to tell you each and everything exact okay so wants to keep some mystery and that is why it's asking you to wait a bit and focus on the current changes in your life that you were supposed to make okay so that's about it i hope you've enjoyed this wonderful read and do like share comment and subscribe to iNigma's hobby channel as well as iNigma and iNigma Hindi channel i'll see you back again with more stuff bye and do check out the link below for extended